result of the scintigraphic test conducted on your kidney reveals that there is no cancer in the organ. So it's, uh, it's safe for donation. Thank God. Thank God. So how soon would you want me to come in for this surgery? Well, I, I would... Uh, I would recommend that you come in for admission immediately so that um, we take you through some hours of um, chemotherapy uh, to boost your immunity before the main surgery itself. Can I come in tomorrow morning? Anytime. Um, anytime tomorrow, as far as it's uh, not later than evening. Okay, um, Prof, please, I want you to keep the details of the result of this diagnosis secret from my wife and my mother. Mm. You think so, Charles? Yes, please, yes, please. I don't think that's the best option. Uh, prof, let, let us not go into this argument. That's my wish. It's okay, Charles. Um, let me know when you're about to come tomorrow. Give me a call. Yeah, I'll call you. All right? Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. All right, Charles. Nothing has changed and nothing will ever change. We are a team, a good team. <coughs> Thank you. And a good team spirit is the one that makes a member not to deserve his teammates. I am with you and will always be with you in spirit, just like you are with me and inside the surgical world. We can't afford not to be together. We cannot afford to be alone. Coach, I want to assure you, on behalf of my teammates here, that we'll do our very best to justify the, the confidence reposed on us, sir. But only one request from you, sir. What is it? Please keep in touch. I sure will. Every day, every minute. Um, Tony, what's the camping deadline? Well, I put it at 3 p.m., but I excuse Kaka and Ramirez. Ramirez says he has an errand he's running for his family that will delay him till around 4.30 p.m. And uh, I don't know what Kaka is saying about... Uh, um, Kaka will be here when everybody will be here. But, but mom said I have to go to... I'll talk to mom about that. Now, I want you people to be at the opening ceremony, which will be five hours from now, so that you can get acquainted with the spirit and with the environment of the tournament. Be very careful about the hotel environment. We come to you in the hotel so that you can be together and be focused on the match. Don't get yourself distracted. Have I made myself clear? God bless you and good luck. Excuse me, coach. Please, uh, would like to. We want to pray with you. Come on, come around, boys. Come on.
Yes, yes, I'm, I'm back. <coughs> Where did you rush off to early in the morning? I went to see Prof for additional tests. You know, the kidney stuff. And where are you going to now? He said I should come in for admission immediately. I want to do this and get on with my life. It appears that simple for you, Charles, doesn't it? <coughs> <coughs> but it's that simple now. Don't be pessimistic. Eh? Do you think I don't want to leave? Eh? It's that simple now. Don't be pessimistic. Do you think I don't want to leave? All the tests that we have conducted on this kidney thing came out positive. So relax. You think I don't want to leave? Charles, why must you be the one who always risks your life for people? Why must you be the one who sacrifices for people? Why? People? Franklin? I don't care. You have a delicate life. That your life is just by the grace of God. Must you risk it for someone else? Ask yourself this question, Charles. Will Franklin do the same for you? Um, I don't want to be dragged into this line of conversation, okay? I'm already late for Prof's appointment, so... I'm going with you. Relax, you can come later. No. <clears throat> this whole thing has taken enough from me already, okay? And the only way I can get my sanity and be optimistic is to follow you through this, stage by stage. So don't give me any reason as to why I shouldn't come with you. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, get ready. Charles, this cough, is there something about it? No. Um, something like what? I don't know. You're the one who said you underwent a series of tests. Yeah, but it's not uh, as regards the cough. The cough is just a normal cough. Okay, let me get ready then. Just weakening, just weakening out, Professor. How far are we on the transplant? Well, we're close. Indeed, uh, very close. Your brother will be coming in any moment from now, and uh, he will be put on admission. I know. Is he not in yet? No, he's not. He's not. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we may not be able to carry on with the surgery immediately, as planned. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. It's not, it's not a problem. You see, we, we have to go through certain processes. Your brother will be put on admission and he will be placed under chemotherapy so that we can um, boost his immunity. But he's not complaining, is he? Well, he doesn't have to complain. It's my duty. Yeah, you cannot be considerate, you know. You cannot be considerate. Leave me. Leave me, Mama. If it was you should know why it's pinching him. On a pinch, you was, you know, no answer. It's also pinching someone else. Mama. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, 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 please. It's all right. It's all right. Mama. It's all right. Mama. Now, listen to me, Pastor. What we're doing is the normal process. It's what we are ordinarily supposed to do. Okay? So you need to calm down. All right? It's okay, Professor. All I know, my God has already decreed I'm not, I shall not die. When you're not you are not the person who won't die. On your jaw. You're just self centered. So to make him. Mama. Okay. Um, let me take you. I'll be good. Mama? Okay, now, Daru, you're not the person You're doing well, oh. Daru, if you're not making it. Mama, why are you hustling me this afternoon? Hmm? Why? Nobody is hustling anybody. I'm not hustling you. Hey, but you're so self-centered. Hey, okay, what is wrong with you? Mama. Mama. Mama is okay. Mama is enough. Have you forgotten Frank is not well? Eh? Because you know. It's not okay. It's not okay enough. Mama, do you want to go to the house? He doesn't know how to talk. He doesn't know how to talk. Oh, my God. 
Why not go for that lawyer? What is it? Well, well, Charles. Um, sorry I've kept you waiting all this uh, Why? We had a long session in the theatre. Surgery is here and there. But nurse, why would you have to tie me down? No, 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 no. It's, not a problem. Huh? it's not a problem, Charles. I, I mean, I should have had some time to do other things. No. Well, don't worry, Charles. What you have there is dextrose and saline. You know, stuff that will beef up your uh, energy level, as it were. Okay. <coughs> well, uh, how are you now? Good. No further developments? No. Okay. Um, Doctor. Yes. This cough. He's been having bouts of cough lately. Well, that's part of why we are here, madam. Um, that will be sorted out. Okay, Charles. Uh, Charles. We don't have these drugs here. Hmm? Can your wife buy them? Oh, sure. It's okay. Now? Now. Uh, as soon as possible, anyway. Um, and then, yes, not particularly. Um, in the order of uh, prescription there. Okay, let me run around and see. Please, please. All right, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Mm -hmm. Charles? You'll be fine, okay? Oh, um, good, good morning. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was, um... So, are you the one looking for control drugs? Oh, yes, yes, I, I was here last night. But your boy said he doesn't have the power to sell them to me. Now, I don't know if they're control drugs or not. Yes, I bet them from selling all kinds of uh, control drugs. You know, you never can tell who is who. I'm um, sorry, are they some kind of, um, Bound drugs or something? No, no, just control drugs. So you can call it a cytotoxic, uh, if you choose to call it that way. I'm sorry, I honestly don't know what psycho cytotoxins are. Yeah. I really need drugs. I don't really have them. Yes, I have some of them. The one in the number one and the number two. Okay. But you don't need to throw them, do you? Oh, no, no, just give them to me in the order in which they were listed. Chinedu, sir, get us blood Okay. This is a uh, six platinum. Thank you. 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 Did your NASA bleeding reoccur? No, doctor. Mm, that's... Excuse me, please. Oh. <laughs> hello, madam. Oh, hello, doctor. Oh, good morning, madam. How are you? Long time. Oh, long time indeed. I'm fine, thank you. Yes, how is Charles? He's fine. He's very fine. Um, doctor, I need to ask you a question about a particular drug. What drugs are these? Um, they are um, cisplatin, oxyplatin, and carbo carboplatin. Uh, those are cytotoxic drugs. Who prescribed them for you? Um, they're, they're not for me, actually. Sorry, what are cytotoxic drugs? Uh, cytotoxic drugs... <laughs> I don't know how to explain them to you, madam. Please, just explain it in a way that I will understand. Uh, let me try. Uh, cytotoxic drugs are drugs that inhibit uh, the growth of cancer cells. The drugs you just mentioned, carboplatin, cisplatin, these are platinum-based chemotherapeutic cytotoxic drugs. You see, they control the secondary stage non-small cell cancer of the lungs. Cancer. Cancer? Terminal lung cancer. Don't lie to me. 
Why do you ask? Don't take me for a fool, Prof. This cytotoxic drug, it inhibits the growth of cancer cells. A platinum chemotherapeutic drug for lung cancer. Lung cancer spread from other parts of the body is usually secondary and terminal. So answer me, Prof. Uh, since you're so serious about knowing if your husband has cancer, why don't you find out from him? I shall. Sure Mama, huh? Mama, huh? there's a serious issue on ground. What is it? Okay, Charles Chidube Mwandu, what do you have in mind? I'm asking you, what are your intentions? Chidube Mwandu, Mama, your son has cancer. Which one? Your son has terminal lung cancer. How did he tell you? Azoba! Hey! Prof. Hey! I thought we had an understanding. Hey! Hey! Understanding? Uh, about, about what? How could you have told my wife that I have cancer? Oh, uh, look. I, I don't understand. If, if that's what you're talking about, if there's any compromise about an understanding, I think it should be coming from you because I didn't tell her anything. Did she tell you I told her anything? I don't know if you pray to her. 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 Listen, Mama. The ethics of my profession forbids me from disclosing personal medical information to anybody. And that includes his wife. And he instructed me not to disclose that to his wife. So, I don't see a problem. And Madam, please, this is not a big deal. This is just a medical condition that we all pray will, at the end of the day, come out well for all of us. It's not a big problem. And I don't expect that this should be going on here. Mm. And uh, Charles? Calm down. It's going to be well. Okay? Hey! 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 hey. hey. Mama! Hey! 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 to fly you abroad, only at a time. Where we can get a kidney from, from an organ bank. It will not be fair on Chidubem if we just fold our hands and watch him give up his life for you. That won't be fair at all. In fact, what does that mean? Eh? That because uh, the prof said that he will not survive, he can just give up the only useful thing in his body and die, just like that. No. I won't let it happen because all of you are important to me. Your lives are very important to me, two of you. We just have to try and try. We can't just give up hope on him, just like that. Mama, you have given up on me, eh? That's not what I That's not what I said, though. What are you saying? That is not what Mama is saying. You are not getting the point here. Mama is trying to instill fairness in the whole situation. How dare you ask from Charles' life in exchange for yours? I do not demand your husband's life in exchange for my children. Please stop raising issues. I was here suffering my kidney failure on my own. I never complain to anyone apart from my God, who I know can make all things possible. Charles, my brother, decided to donate his kidney for me. But you, 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 you too, want to poison his mind. Huh? How do you pretend you care? Huh, Mama? See you, you want to go abroad. Huh? What can you do? God, how much do you have, Mama? I Sell your land. A woman. You, a woman, now want to sell land. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that Uncle Charles still has cancer. I didn't know that he was even very terminal. Eh? Well, 
since this is the case, I think we have to be very, very considerate. God bless you. Even though he decided to, 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 to give his kidney, I think we should first consult Prof. Let Prof tell us how much, how much danger giving his kidney will pose to the remainder of his life. Well, if this is what he truly wants to do, if this is what Uncle Charles really wants to do, I don't think we should deny him the desire to save his brother's life. What is going on here? What's going on here? They are here to tell me that you can no longer give me your kidney because you have cancer. Mama. Chede. If you could think that by doing this, you will be saved by delicate life, then you are wrong. You are killing it. It's my desire to help save my brother by giving him my kidney. And that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Even if I'm dead today, the prof already has my permission to take my kidney and transplant to him. So let us leave the sleeping dog to lie. Mama. Mama. Are you hearing what he's saying? Mama, are you hearing? If he's a camera. Look at Google, Mama. If he's a camera. Because I am not. I am not here to do anything. Because, Mama. What do you do about this children's surgery? Given the fact that he has a bad heart. He has also been diagnosed of, of, of terminal cancer. Terminal cancer, you know. Hey, she didn't get now. Okay, what, what is all this? Can you get GC Colo? She didn't get more than GC Colo. No way. Okay, you get GC Colo. Mama, wait, who's the Colo? Let's hear from Prof. Um, oh, madam, Mama, this is not what we will be discussing here. Okay? Why don't we just uh, go to my office? Frank, I'm not bothered about what is happening now. But I'm confident What will happen later will justify my decision. Yes, it will. Even in the Bible, it says the latter splendor shall be greater than the former. No regrets. I have no regrets at all whatsoever. No regrets. I know my God is able. Give me your hand. Let us pray. Um, uh, wait, 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 please. Um, when I die, please make sure. Come on, Charles. Hmm? Why are you saying this? You're not going to die. Hmm? Why are you faithless? If it's just the way it is, I don't think I'm going to take the kidney off. I'm not talking about the kidney. So it's not about the kidney. I have cancer, Frank. Hmm. Terminal lung cancer. I know. I know. The professor told me. <coughs> but at least maybe a God will do one good thing for us. Hmm? He said in Luke 1 37 and Matthew 19 26 that he can do all things. Huh? Come. Ah. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. He 
can survive the surgery, but there are lots of risks. You see, cancer is an immune suppressing ailment. It opens one to a lot of disease attacks. And the kidney has its own function in the body. You see, for a cancer patient to lose one of his kidneys, it is like removing strength from an already weakened vessel. And anything can happen. Longevity, which is impaired, is further cut down. Mm, that is just the situation. Madam, uh, uh, calm down. But you said this was what he wanted. He doesn't know what he wants, doctor. I mean, this is not normal. How can a man lay down his life for another? Madam, it's his brother. You can't completely fault him in all, in all of this. Another thing that is likely to occur is that because of his already weakened heart and his further weakened body system, his weak heart may not sustain the pressure from the surgery. You see? You, you see? Yes, and there is a possibility that he may develop pulmonary hypertension. And this will spark off an effusion in his pleural space. And for a cancer patient, this is a medical emergency. And it can kill him. And may not if handled properly. Oh, Jesus, no. No, Jesus, no. I will not allow them to do this. I will not. This will be occurring cancer as a result of Franklin's adamant refusal to my husband's request to him during his testicle surgery. I will not allow them to sniffle life out of him for me. No! Madam, you said this was what he wanted. I will not allow him to kill himself if that's what he wants to do. I will not! If Castle gives my husband one hour, I will not allow anyone to take one minute out of that one hour. I will not allow him to sacrifice his life to some selfish people. He wants to say, No, oh, no, I will not. I will not allow him to satisfy some selfish people and kill himself. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome, madam. Please take heart. You, I need your help. Uh, oh, good day, ma'am. Uh, I'm at the hotel preparing for a match. Tony, did my husband tell you he had cancer? Cancer? A terminal one. And he wants to donate a kidney of his to his brother Franklin against all prudent medical advice that he will not survive it after the kidney transplant. <laughs> to understand you, you inconsiderate, selfish man. All you care about is yourself. What you want to do, how you feel, all you care about is yourself. You do not care of how any other person feels or what they will go through as a result of your actions, your stupid and selfish actions. This same Franklin, this same Franklin for whom my Jesus Christ husband wants to kill himself for, this same Franklin whom you want to die for, locked his heart against every reasonable plea. Every reasonable plea, we beg him to help save you from the spread of this cancer. The same cancer that is bound to take your life now. He refused. And you expect me to be happy? I should go my hands and clap for you. You think I'm going to sit and watch you, Charles Chidubem Wandu, throw away every single sacrifice I have made in this marriage? For what? You want to cut short your already endangered life? Why? Why? The Franklin may leave. For Franklin! Become one way to help you all. Become. I will not let this happen! Never! Uncle, there are some people here to see you. So the metro says I should inform you to come out and see them since there are quite many. Some people? Yes. Who are they? I don't know, quite a number of them.
all here. In 35 minutes time, she'll be having a match. Kuchi, we are here to reason with you. We learned that you are about to undergo a life-threatening surgery. Which you have an option not to. Please, we are here to plead for you. Actually, Coach, like you have said, we got the news that you have cancer and uh, the boys rightly were concerned. So, you might think it is not our business, but you cannot say we don't have right to be concerned about you. We are here to appeal to you, actually. I must say that I appreciate your concern. But this is not the time for this. You should be thinking about winning the match. <coughs> Next 35 minutes. Rather than concentrating on my private affair. Tony, you shouldn't have done this. No. Coach, I'm sorry for you. It's an, an intrusion in any way. But it is difficult to get the boys in the right frame of mind with this news. Coach, these boys here, they care about you. They are like a family with you. All of us. You mean a lot to all of us. They are concerned about you. And there's no way we can hear the news that you are. You, you have a terminal ailment and we just fold our arms. What I'm saying is that first things first, you should concentrate on trying to motivate them towards Coach, winning this me. match rather than ah, the news. Oh, Tony, please, I want you to understand. Ah! Oh. I thought um, the young man stayed behind, the boy stayed behind, but you uh, don't worry, he'll be fine. Okay. Huh? Okay. So just make yourself comfortable. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mama, you first. Please. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Sit down. Um, I summoned you people here because of what just happened. Um, I'm going to speak directly to you, madam. You see, the condition that your husband finds himself now requires that you give him all the support. A man in his situation who has taken a decision to face this kind of course, um, it will be very difficult to break his will. So I need you to give him all the support. In other words, you're advising me to support my husband to go and kill himself? She did better. Mama, let me talk. He is my husband and I vow to be faithful to him in sickness and in affliction. Mama, Should I now betray him by not giving him options of life? We don't understand, Mama. You all do not understand. Charles may be tired of living. He may be tired of life. That's why he wants to give up his life on a platter of gold, even when there are options for him. But should we let him? What other options could there be? Eh? We have an option of getting it from a dead body. Hey, to work back, go back. Go to work. Still, we can plug him abroad and get it from a kidney from an organ back. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you. Well, madam, that option is practically impossible because the possibility of getting a compatible kidney for your husband is one to fifty. Let us try. We cannot treat Charles like some sacrificial lamp. It's worthwhile to try, try, and try again. We can't just face a dying man and tell him, hence you're dying, we want your kidney, we will lay you to rest. That's not fair. Nobody asked Charles to donate his kidney. He offered it himself. And that's the excuse you're going to be hiding under. Aren't you supposed to advise him properly? Did I not advise him properly? You did not!
study. Sure. Are you okay? What are you doing here? It's too much over. No, Daddy. I opted out. I have to stay back. Are you out of your mind? You don't job with your career. That's your dream. Your future. Only hope of fulfillment is in you. You cannot fail me. Go back to the stadium. Gemma. I don't want anything to happen to you, Daddy. Nothing will happen to me. This is your opportunity. <laughs> Grab it. Grab it. Go back to the stadium and bring me some job. Is it true you are dying? Is it true? Let's talk about this uh, later. I'm not leaving until you tell me what I want to know. Okay. I'm dying. Everybody will die one day. Chima, let your heart not be troubled. Stop it, don't cry. You're hurting me. Stop crying. What can I do to stop you? I don't want you to die. Then go up to the stadium and score goals for me and bring me the cup. Huh? Okay. I will, Daddy. Please stay. Please stay. Just bring me the cup and I'll stay. Okay, Daddy. Am I going in now? No. We'll get your little brother first. Has he gone in already? Um, well, yes, he is. It is well. Oh. Don't worry. You get well soon, okay? This is the last one she can go. No, Sibiko. No, Sibiko, sir. God bless you. You've done well already, eh? I'm proud of all of you. Mm. But, Daddy, I haven't done anything yet. I intend to do more for you, Daddy. Don't be nice. Eh? I'll speak. To all the boys before the commencement of surgery. But if there's no time, tell them what I said. But I'm proud of all of you. <coughs> and I will not accept anything less than absolute victory. Please, okay. just concentrate, okay? Concentrate. Remember your promise. The cup is the only thing left. I don't want to fail. Kaka, you should be here. I want you to go home. Oh, oh, oh. Please, 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 please.
Prof. Yes. The BP is dropping. Let me get an hydro cut. Okay. Okay. Quickly. 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 Sunshine? Taking in your husband immediately. Hey, okay, bro. Hey. Good. Um, when you're done, send it to my office. Alright, sir. I will, sir. Mama. As well. Well, can I do it? No, Mama. I'd rather wait here. Yeah. On a second thought, let me yeah. see, bro. That's wonderful, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Yes. Um, well, he, he hasn't particularly lost um, blood, as, as, as I expected. Yes, uh, I think he's in a more stable condition now. I, I had him intubated. Yes, Prof. The, the medical history, um, he has cardiomyopathy, that's, that's the medical history. And then recently he was diagnosed of non-small cell cancer of the lung. Yes, Prof, yes, Prof, yeah. Okay, Prof, um, when exactly can you come in um, to see him, please? Okay, uh, it's okay, it's okay, Prof. Uh, thank you all the same. Uh, I will expect you. Thank you, Prof. Madam. Can I see my husband now? My brother. Mama, how is he doing? I don't know, I haven't seen him. But, but I saw the prof, and the prof said that he is fine. It's going to be fine, Helen. Don't uh, worry yourself. Edna, come. come. Why does this keep dropping? No, no, no. Please wait, I think. 
Is that a problem? No, no, not really. I think it has to do with the machine itself. So Excuse there's me. There's nothing to do. I'm sorry for interrupting. They're ready for you. Okay. Um, meanwhile, come. You need to take a second look at this and tell me why it is dropping. Okay? okay. And do that quickly. Madam, please, shall we? I can't stay. No, no, no. Please, let no, me I'm just sorry, stay. you can't stay. You see him later. Yeah. Please. All right. No, no, don't worry. Um, get on that and get back. Sister Mitchell, yes, we have to be on our way now. We shall continue to pray for you. The entire church community is praying for him. Mm -hmm. So you have nothing to fear, okay? Thank you very much, Pastor. Mm -hmm. yeah, Are you leaving? Yeah, we have to. Mm -hmm. You're still in the hospital. This is the intensive care room. Where is my wife? Good evening, madam. Please, which of you is the patient's wife? I am, nurse. I am. What happened? Is the surgery over? I mean the patient in the acute care room. Me. Please. What's wrong with my husband? He's actually come around and he wants to see you. Yeah, well, what about the surgery? Is it over? Well, I'm sure by now they should be rounding up. Are you coming what? No, I'm sleeping. Sleeping on duty. What you want your business? Busy body. Am I sleeping with your eyes? Do. I made it back. Mm. I mm. told you. You told me. No. Thanks. Hey, pencil, Kawan. Hapo no subia. Kaguya makapensa. Oh. Ndu. Jehovah go ndu go. Gawa boko dim. Hey, I thank God. We can enjoy. Hey, no suma abia go kwa. Nice. Mm. Did he come back with my wife? She's still with the prof. Mm. Are you not giving me anything for this weakness? Oh, that's what this drip is for. And the, and the pain. Calm down, sir. Just calm down. The pain is as a result of the wound from the surgery. I'll give you something now to subside it. Please. Bumi, get me P to Z. Yeah. And Petronia the Zoe. Be fast, yes. 
This is it. Thank you. Well, well, well. So where is your mother-in-law and uh, your sister-in-law? They went to the icing unit. Is anything the matter? Oh, really, there is nothing to worry about, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I want to inform you that uh, we have uh, concluded the surgery and it was successful. Father. Pastor is alive and uh, we actually couldn't have asked for a better condition than what he is in now. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank You're you welcome. So You're welcome. <laughs> well, um, I will have to run now, you know. It's been a very hectic day for me and I'm tired. I hope you understand. I understand, Prof. No problem. Um, but when can I see him? Ah. Well, um, as soon as it's good to be seen, this sleeping fool will probably take you to him. No problem. Thank you so much. God bless you. God will favor you. Good night. Good night. Ah, Father, thank you. Nice training, boys. Thank, Thank you, coach. Um, you all understand that uh, today is the D Day. We thank God that has led us thus far to the final of this tournament. And we dare not fail at this point in time. We all remember the condition of our coach. And so, even if we cannot win this match for ourselves, I think we should win it for him as a, a get well gift to him. So, um, it's 10.45 now. We'll drive back to the hotel. When we get back to the hotel, we use between now and 12.45. That is two hours to rest. Is it clear? Then, whatever you're doing, if you're sleeping, whatever you call rest, make sure you end it by 12.45. Then you use between 12.45 and 1.45 to take your bath and get ready for the stadium. Is that clear? Yes, coach. Good. T-boy. Yes, coach. You'll be good now to come down about 30 minutes later than the other people to tell me you were bathing. If you know your bathing will take you two hours, you better start now. As others are resting, start bathing. So that if you bathe from now till 12... Hold on, it's serious. If you bathe from now till 12.45, you must have finished. So that by 1.45, when we want to leave, you are there. Is that clear? Yes, good. To the boss. Let's move. Get the boss. Get the boss. Nurse. Yes. 
What are you saying about the pain? It is normal, even though I've added an analgesic energy, but it will subside with time. Hmm? Um, I guess it's much better than earlier today, isn't it? Well, yes. Mm -hmm, it's okay to drop then. Um, let me go get on with other things. Um, Madam, if need arises, please send for me, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you very much. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Mama. Are you sure Charles is okay? He's fine. Hello, dear. Huh? He's very strong. He's okay. Honey. Yes, darling. Then how could you not have seen him? I had to stay back to wait on you. Hmm? Can I ask you, Mama? I'm not sure. No, He's strong. I'm not strong. I'm weakening now. Please. You have to give me some. Give me something to help. There is nothing more to give for now. The dextrous here is much that can be given at this stage. You don't know. Sorry. You don't know what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. You'll be fine. Please calm down, you'll be fine. I'm choking. Calm down. I'm sorry, sir. I'm choking. Are you having difficulty in breathing? This man has pleural effusion and we need to take him into the theater. Pleural effusion, Prof? Yes, yes. How come? Well, it appears he had um, pulmonary uh, uh, hypertension for over 24 hours. Did he suffer from uh, a heart attack? Yes. Really 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 yes, it did, but we had it under control, Prof. I see. Anyway, um, do I get the theater ready then, immediately? Yes, we need to take him to the theater, at least to drain the uh, infusion okay. till morning. Well, that means uh, we're going to have to uh, Some we'll take him through the synthesis. Yes. Okay. Let me prepare the theater as soon as so.
Mama, Anna. let me go and check on Frank. Okay. I'll be here. Eh? I'm not going anywhere. Come on, okay, let me do it. No problem, eh? Yeah. No problem, you can stay. Let me just go and check on him. I will still come back. Oh? Yeah. Stop pissing. Come and sit down. I don't want to sit down. Please leave me like this. Just leave me like this, please, Mama. Is he stable? Yeah, he's stable. He's stable. You think that you have to move in to the ICU until tomorrow morning? Okay, can I go sit down? Go, go in, Biko. We are waiting. Mama. Eh? Mama. Why do you want to see him? What do you want to see him for? Ah, come on, if you know, no, no, no. Mama. So you should abandon Charles in the theater and come and answer you. Oh, because he was not two hours. Now two hours and say, I got to go. Hi. She's like, Mama, I'm like, yes, baby, go. What will I do? What can I talk to you? Hello. Chibu. Why are you crying? Can you do it? I'm not going to be able to do No, 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 no. Let's concentrate on one person. Which one person? Hey! I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I don't know what to do again. I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to go. 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 Hey! Hey! Two hours for heaven's sake. 
Michelle, yes, darling. are you sure Charles is okay? Yes, of course. He's fine. Then why is Mama stuck over there? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Eh? Charles is her son as well. That's not what I'm saying. It... Just relax. Everything is fine. You have nothing to worry about, okay? okay. Pastor, relax. God is in control, okay? Okay. Amen. Thank you very much, sister, Sarah, for coming. Since you sit down. You've been standing for too long. You go and sit. You go and sit down. Let me stand for a change. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. You are very sick. Hey. Retractor, please. Retractor. Is he breathing? I think so, Prof. Please don't think. Be sure. But you said he was fine. So, why is he being taken back to the theater? It's just something minor. Something yes. minor? Yes. Ah! Jesus, oh. Pastor, please, ah, ah, relax. Relax. Calm down. Ah, relax. I want to see my brother. Relax. Calm down. He's fine. I want to see my brother. Sister, what's your soul? Relax. Please relax. Sister Sarah, try and get the nurse, okay? Sister Sarah, try and get the nurse, okay? Try and get the nurse, okay? Try and get the nurse, okay?
has come to me. No, Mama. I'm not going to be afraid. Mama. I'm not afraid anymore, Mama. 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 No, sir. Madam, it's okay. It's okay. Just try and relax your mind, okay? Nothing is happening. It's okay. Try and relax your mind. Yes, sir. Uh, just calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, sir. Yes, Prof. Yes, sir. What happened? Uh, Prof, I, why don't you do the explanation? Uh, all right, no problem. All right, sir. Yeah. There's no cause for alarm, no reason to worry. All right? Um, your patient is okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We have tried to resuscitate him. And I'm sure he will remain solid from now till tomorrow morning when we'll come to conduct further surgery. Surgery or so No, 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 it's not. Uh, uh, well, maybe I should just take over from here. Please, please, please do. Please do. <laughs> well, it's not something to worry about, like the prof himself rightly said. Um, we have actually crossed the major huddle. You know, the big, uh, you know, uh, our big fears have been, you know, allayed. He is stable, he's doing well. Uh, this other surgery tomorrow is um, just a minor thing. And it concerns the usual health uh, right. challenges that you and I know, uh, you know, about him. You know, he, he is fine. And to further assure you that he's doing well. Um, Yes, please. Okay. So to, to assure you, um, he's there. Thank he's there. you so much, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's okay. So, Came to let you know that we did it. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I fulfilled my dream. I fulfilled my dream. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. I told you I'll make you. Yes, Daddy, you did. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. You, you have to warn Kakao. He almost ruined our chances of taking this cup today. He missed a late minute penalty that would have given us victory at regulation time. How much else is the cup? Oh, please stand up. Stand up, please. It's time. You people all have to go now. Prof is angry, please. Mama, even you. Um, yes, Mama. Please. My God, is He needs to rest. That's who we stay with. No, Mama, he will be fine. Please, Mama. Please stand up. Stand up. My child can go over to Biko's hand. Biko, Biko. Biko. Mama, Mama, please. Do you want? Jishike, Maga, Troy, no one.
Mr. Charles. What? Mr. Charles. Oh my God. Doctor! Now is that we are no longer waiting till tomorrow to have the surgery uh, done. We are moving him in immediately for that surgery. Yes. Yeah. Oh, please, just a minute. Hey! It's okay, girl. No, you are okay. No, sir. No, sir. You are okay. You are not okay. You are not okay. Hey! Oh, Mama. You are not okay. You are not okay. You are not okay. It's a pity. Mama. Madam. We are here in the name of the entire members of CC Stars Football Academy. Your son Charles' Football Academy. We are here with rude shock. We dashed straight from the beach to the hospital yesterday to present him with the cop. He assured us he was going to be fine. He promised that within one week he would be fit again to address the rest of the boys. And that was the message we took home to the boys before they dispersed. It was very devastating when we got the call about his death last night. We are here. With this call that we won. We had a contract with Charles to play and win the tournament for him. Because he was the source of strength. He was the motivation and the inspiration of all these boys. We came with this cup because that is the only thing we have. That in the annals of history, Charles will be remembered as a symbol of success, oh as a symbol of victory. Mm. <laughs> 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 
has to end like this in this act of doing good i am very sorry but mama be consoled that your son died a good man he died a good man he died doing good <laughs> Six goals and those seven matches. Was it not enough? Was it not enough? It's okay, it's okay. Hold your Preparing for your healing, my God, oh my God, I'm waiting for that touch that sends pain away. Believing I'll just wake up And know it's all a dream I'm falling down the tunnel My hopes have blown away Going off my mind I'm begging you, my girl I'm waiting for my children To keep my dreams alive In Aussie woman My 